Hello everybody, what's up? This is Ryan or Vubs or whatever you want to call me and today I have a little bit of a tutorial for all you users with a Blue Yeti microphone who have a hiss or you just aren't satisfied with your settings. Um, I'm not using any of these settings I'm about to say right now so you can compare it to the end of the video and see if there's any improvements that you are, think it's worth your time wasting on. So, first things first is you just want to find the good link away from your mouth the Blue Yeti should be facing. You want to make sure you're talking into the front of it, not to the top of it. So make sure you can see the mute button and the blue logo, all that stuff. You want to make sure it's right in the front of you. I have mine about six or seven inches away from my mouth right now. And yeah. Next thing you want to do is make look on the back of your Yeti and make sure your gain is turned all the way down. I personally think it sounds the best and the positioning can make a difference whether or not you even have to touch that so don't even bother touching it once it's on low move the mic back or forth speaking of night mic distance what you're going to want is a pop filter right now you probably notice that when i hit my p's it goes a little bit high it sounds like a blowing air and like hold on that might have sounded like i was blowing air in. i'm going to move my pop filter into position you might hear a little bit of click and i'll try the pause again Okay, now with the pop filter, when I go pop, 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 you can still probably hear it, but it makes a hell of a difference. I would recommend picking one up. I got one from Amazon for like seven bucks. They're really cheap, and they really do make a difference in the long run. If you want quality, buy a pop filter. Okay, the next thing you want to do, I probably should have said this before, but on the back next to gain, you'll notice a whole bunch of weird little symbols. The one you want to turn it to, it looks like a bubble that got popped on one side and it's starting to cave in. It's a weird circle with a little crevice in it, and that turns it to cardioid mode, and that's like the commentaries and podcasting mode, whatnot. That's the best mode in my opinion. Okay, the next thing you want to do on your computer, if it's still picking up a lot of background noise or you just are a loud talker, you want to go to recording devices. Right click on this little logo on the bottom right. Go over to, sorry, I have a lot of devices. Go to Blue Yeti microphone, go to properties, go to levels, and I have mine to 100 because I'm not a very loud talker, but I don't know, just play around with this. It's probably fluctuating in the video, so I'm just gonna stop that. Turn that, I, when I didn't have anything, I kept it to about 75, and that was okay, but it's really not the best. And the last thing that I can recommend is to get a powered USB. Um, that eliminates a lot of the hiss. I'm going to hurry up and switch over to that right now so you can tell the difference. Right now it's plugged into the, just the front of my computer. I'm going to plug it into my powered USB and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I plugged it into my powered USB hub. It's still plugged into my computer but through the powered USB hub so there's another power source sort of alleviating the pressure off my power supply on my main computer. And in case you guys can't notice, the hiss is gone. That wasn't a fan or anything you were hearing. That was just the hiss from the microphone or the power supply rather. And I got this off a of new egg for about $15. I'll link it in the description. It's really nice to have just even without a mic. It's nice to have. And other than that, there's really no other tips I can give you. This is the best settings I can give you. Um, if you want to post edit it, you can have Audacity or Adobe Audition. That's what I'm recording this with right now. And if you guys have any other questions, be sure to leave a comment. I'll be able to help out to the best of my ability. But if I can't figure out your problem, don't hate me. And if you're just tuning in right now, this is what it sounds like with all the settings good to go. And hopefully it sounds better than that at the beginning of the video. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions or concerns, leave a comment and I'll do my best to help you. And have a good day, everyone.